Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. Um, so in this video, what I'm going to be doing is working in the piano roll and working with just the melody that I created. Uh, so originally I played a melody through the keyboard and then um, basically just created a little loop for it and added in a, a kick drum track here. So um, this is what the kick drum sounds like. Let me take the mute off. So that's my kick drum, and this is the bass line. Okay, so again, it was just a melody that I played and then looped it. So if you double click on the part, you'll notice that you'll see a whole bunch of different notes in here going on, um, different lengths, different colors. Um, so basically uh, the colors represent the volume levels so red is of course the loudest and I believe it's like a dark purple blue is the lowest um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just I want all my um, all my notes to be the same size so I'll just basically double click on the ones I don't want and just replace them with short ones Okay, so now I have them all the same, and you can select them all just by holding down your left mouse button, and you get like a, a dotted line, and just drag it over. If you take your mouse and you put it right on the edge of one of the notes and hold the left mouse button, you can make it longer, or you can make it shorter. So, and I want mine to be a little shorter. So, if you double click on one of the notes, you get this other window that opens up. If you hit play, what happens is this window basically rolls through for each note. So just click the little guy up here in the top corner and that'll stop it from moving. Okay, so looking at this window right here, which you have a couple different things going on, um, this basically represents the position of the note. Okay, um, this is the status of the note. So if I select mute and I mute it, and I open it, you can see that there's um, a little dot right here that says that that note is muted. Okay. So the next thing you have is, um, let me take this off though. In the list here. Um, so the next column over, this basically represents where the note will be played. kind of help you make sure you get your um, your uh, your sound right so um, the next uh, column over is actually the volume so if I put it all the way down to one you see it gets like a dark purple color and it, the loudest is 127 which is bright or not bright it's actually really of a dark red if you double click on it you'll be able to get the volume you could just type in the number you want so I want to turn it back down to 83 so the next one over here is the different lengths. Okay. Lengths. And as you can see, they're all pretty much the same. This one here just brings it out really slow. So let me just put this back down to zero. And double click this and put it back to 192. Okay, so now it's back to what it was before. So that's this view. Okay. Um, so the next thing what you can do is you can also um, play around with your quantize. Right now mine is set for uh, 16. 
you can click on the quantize and you can basically just select whatever you want. You can turn it off. You can do different types of quantizes here. Um, I'll put mine at, at uh, 116. It's going to sound the same. So again, but there's different ones you can select um, to change the way how the, the, the song is going to sound. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on 116, and that's the way I'm going to leave it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to just play around with the notes again, the placement of the notes. So you can play around with the placement of the notes by just holding down the note. And if you, you notice, there is a, a move region of slash events window that just opened up. And you can drag it over. And that will help you with quantizing your, your sound or making it a little bit more groovy at times. And it just really depends on what sound you're looking for. Okay. So when I actually put the drum track together, that was actually really easy. I just took my pencil, looped the part where I wanted to play the actual sound, and then just clicked in the section, and then it created this part here. Once I created the part, I just opened it up. At the time, there was nothing in it. So I selected my pencil tool by holding down the right mouse button and letting go once I was on the pencil, and then just finding the sound that I wanted on the keyboard. So once I found what I wanted, I just basically clicked in the sounds that I wanted. So, but you can do it any way you want. nothing hard about that. Um, so the best advice I can give when you're actually working on your, your melodies and stuff like that, um, just play what you feel or what you think sounds good. That's usually what I do. And sometimes I may actually play around with a sound more than once until I get it the way how I want it to sound or what I think sounds good. Um, so never the first time around do I ever play a sound and I think it's perfect. So maybe it needs effects, maybe it doesn't. You know, maybe the sound needs to be tweaked just a little bit. Um, it really depends on what sound you're looking for. So I actually kind of like this a little bit. So I'll probably turn this into a song. Just just with that drum beat and that little bass line that I have right there, I think I'll be able to turn this into a, a pretty cool sounding song. So um, I think I pretty much covered most of it. Um, the magnifying glass is just, you know, you click on it and it'll let you zoom in. Um, when you hold down the left mouse button to what you want to look at. Um, but to me, it's just, you know, just the same. You can move things just a hair when you're in this view, as you can see what I'm doing right here. So, but I want to put it right back where it was. So, um, let's see if there's anything else that is of importance. So, you got your, your eraser, your glue stick, your arrow, your uh, pencil, scissors. Um, not that you would use them in this view. Um, that often. So, anyway, um, and what I did on my drum was, um, let me click on the track. So I'm on the drum track right here, and basically this is what I really had, just one little um, part. And you just come up here and click on the loop box, and what that basically does, it just repeats this box, this part, over and over again. 
pretty much. Um, actually, yeah, until it hits another part. But I have some, um, some other song stuff I was working on here. So this is just for demo purposes. But if I didn't have that other stuff here, it would have continuously kept putting it down. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much working in the piano roll section. Um, a lot of times, I mean, there are times when I'll just come in here and I'll just program a sound that I, you know, play around with it until I find something that sounds good. Um, another method you can do is when you're uh, trying to create melodies, and I find this actually very helpful, is just to do a, a short little loop. Um, so for example, you could just do something like, like that, and I'll just move this out of the way for now, and just come in here and unmute it, and then open it up, and then play around. So just doing something simple like that, and then just cutting it. And then taking the same part again, doing Control C, Control V, but I need to be on the right track. Control C, Control V. Okay. And just open this up. play around with the notes in here a little bit so you know I don't know how this is gonna sound it could sound good it could sound bad but I'm just gonna move stuff around a little bit more here and then set your loop up to play both parts and play Okay, so that's just showing you what you can do um, working in the piano roll and some of the different functions it has. So, um, if you like my video, please let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any other questions about uh, what I'm doing or, so or sounds that I'm working on or uh, different songs and stuff, uh, or if you have any questions about mixing or whatever, uh, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer your questions, and if you know, if I think I can do a video on it, I'll go ahead and do a video on it and show you, um, show you how I do it. So uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking out my videos, and I appreciate all your guys' support. Thanks a lot. Bye.